What's up guys, it's the video, hope you're doing well, today we're back in automation. And in today's video I've been saving this particular engine for a little while, because it is one of my favorites and I wanted to make it a really special video. So, in today's video we're going to build the almighty Ford 4 litre barrel. Now the variant I'm using for today's video is the 325T and some parameters we're working with we don't have VCT we have VVT and also we have plus 15 quality slider so we can make a boatload of power we're running it on my favorite fuel as well so here is some of the chassis this engine came in which is bizarre but okay so first up we have our wonderful Ford Falcon then we have the Falcon pickup truck or Ute in this case, then we have the Territory, also another awesome car, so I'm told, and the Fairlane, which was also a Fairmont, so I believe it's that situation, I'm not too sure, but we're already making a boatload of power, we're on 1780 horsepower, my horsepower goal for this is around 2500 horsepower, I think that is very good for a engine that isn't really in this game's mechanical library so to speak this game doesn't build it the right way barrels i believe can make over 3000 horsepower without going too far overboard <laughs> so i've read now some of the other things to note about the ford barrel it was and still is one of the best engines you can swap into any chassis so I've been told, again. Now, I've read a lot about this engine, and some of the things I've read about this engine is you got, so every number on the barrel has a representation, has a horsepower number. Let's say for instance the 270T, 270 kilowatt, and the 325T, which is the one we're building today, is 325 kilowatts. I believe it's around 430 horsepower, something like that. It's got more power than the current gen, or close enough, excuse me, to the current gen Coyote. Yeah. That is insane to me. So now we can, after we build it, then we make my wonderful power level. We are quickly busy painting our engine a beautiful mix between a Ford Blue and just a normal Sapphire Blue. Now, we're of course using chrome on everything because chrome gets you home, I've been told. <laughs> uh, it's fine. If you like the sound of that, do comment down below. What engine type would you like to see next? Because um, I've got some Japanese ideas going through my head at the moment for engines. <laughs> now, I'm gonna throw up a photo right about here of what the actual barrel looks like. Note the representation of that barrel is the 270T. I'm quickly looking for a valve cover that matches the Ford engine pretty good. And uh, I think I have only one valve cover that show it. So there is it. And here is an actual photo of a 270T I found on Wikipedia. Beautiful engine, of course. And some of the things I found about the Ford Barrel, the reason why it made so much power is because of the turbo size, and of course how big your intake and exhaust others are. Those things are ginormous, those ports are massive for this engine. You Australians are crazy people, <laughs> but I freaking love it. So now we're gonna move over and run this engine, we're gonna do two pulls, one looking at the engine, one looking at the graph. So let's hear this almighty beast sing all the way up to its rev limiter. Let's go! This thing sounds stupidly insane. Thank you so much for watching. Do consider to comment, share, like, and subscribe because uh, it really helps me out around here. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye bye.